Throughout my humble 28 years of playing guitar, I've been wooed by Fenders, Gibsons, Ibanezes, even Yamahas. However, the only one to ever lock me in was this one. Let's take a look at the Gretsch Electromatic G5420T. <laughs> I'm going to save all the talking for the end and just get into some sounds. I'm going to start with clean tones on each of the pickup settings, starting with the neck pickup. Here's the middle position using both the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. I like this setting for something kind of funky like this. And here's just the bridge pickup. It gets kind of twangy on this one. I like it for stuff like this. Now I'm going to take you through each pickup with some light gain overdrive, starting with the neck pickup for some kind of bluesy sounds like this. I like using the middle position, which is the neck pickup and bridge pickup with some overdrive to give me some kind of, you know, rockabilly tones like this. There's nothing better than the bridge pickup with some overdrive for some kind of classic rock sound and stuff like this.
Even though this is a hollow bodied guitar, with the bracing just below the bridge right here, it can handle high gain distortion tones too. This time I'm gonna start on the bridge pickup for some crunchy rhythm tones. <laughs> With some sustaining distortion on the neck pickup, you almost get some kind of Les Paul tones like this. As I said in the intro, this guitar has been my number one for the better part of a decade already. I spent a lot of years playing solo acoustic gigs, so I'm right at home on a hollow body electric guitar. My favorite parts of this guitar are definitely the pickups. These black top Filtertron pickups are amazing. I love the sound of them. They got a little bit of bite, but they got the fullness of a humbucker. Uh, definitely love the Bigsby licensed tremolo right here. This thing is so much fun. Where's this been my whole life? You know, I can do tricks like this now. That's so fun. Uh, definitely in this color, this color just pops. Come on, tell me this orange isn't the most rad orange. Any stage, big or small, it looks great on camera. If you're gonna get a Gretsch, you gotta go orange. It looks amazing. Uh, the only things I would fix or mod on this guitar, uh, the pots aren't the greatest. Uh, I guess in later models of Electromatic uh, G5420Ts, the pots have gotten a little better and they have like a treble bleed circuit. These ones are like the old ones and uh, they're not the greatest, but I just run them on full and use a volume pedal anyway. So I'm cool with the pots not being the greatest. Um, I would definitely change out the bridge. Uh, I wanna do that so bad someday. Uh, like the third, the dreaded third string, uh, this, um, tunomatic it just kind of pops out <laughs> so it's like really super hard to intonate uh the third string here uh this tuners uh i'll definitely i would change them out at some point for some uh you know more high price tuners like grover or something but to tell you the truth the tuners that come on it uh really are not that bad you know you would think they'd be worse but they actually stay in tune relatively well relatively well so guys i tell you what uh, you know, there's so many other channels that use strats and Gibsons and single coils and humbuckers. I thought it'd be fun to do something different and use, this is my guitar. This is what I use. I use Gretsch. Um, definitely. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited to start this uh, new series called Solid State of Mind. I'm going to be reviewing guitars, amps, pedals, you name it. So definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell. And leave some comments below. If you have any questions on this guitar, I'll try to help you out as much as I can. And man, again, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.